Hey there, Phoenixes. Daniela Langford here with Redesign Your Life Forever, and welcome to another episode of Free Create Fridays, our time together to explore the world of creativity and art, boosting our confidence, our self-esteem, trust in ourself, all of these things leading to a better quality of life. This week we are continuing on and on and on with our spring theme. I'm so stoked to be playing with this theme now that we actually have some spring. <laughs> and I'm bringing to you a lovely craft that you can do very easily at home to bring some awesome color into your rooms. It's gonna be quick and easy. I'll show you how to make them. We're gonna get started here with just a little bit of stretching as always. So grab your drink and come on in. We're gonna get stretch in here and we're gonna be working on our neck and our shoulders, something that way too often gets ignored. So if you haven't had a chance or taken the chance to stretch with me in our creative videos every week, I highly suggest you take the chance and do so because rarely do we ever get an excuse to stretch. So we are going to start as always with our forward fold, which is just a nice, simple forward fold, nothing to it and reach for the ground. Let everything go. You wanna try and have your knees as straight as you can. And we're gonna roll it up. A little bit of a back bend. Anytime you go in one direction, you always wanna go in the other. So with our neck, all kinds of stuff happens with our neck. You can hear mine cracking right now. <laughs> it gets abused, it gets used and abused and we never stretch it out. So we're just gonna start with some very simple, ooh, I can even feel that right there. Just this is going to get those huge muscles in the backs of your back <laughs> right here. I mean, I can even feel this right in through here. So just a nice, we're not going all the way back here, trying to crank or do anything weird like that. Just nice full forward, chin to chest, as far as you can go, as far as you can stretch. to the side. I know many, many people who their bodies are so tense, their muscles are so tight that they cannot look over their shoulder anymore. I literally cannot, can't do this. Straight on. They can only go to about here as far as they can turn their head. So stretch. <laughs> it's very important for your well-being, Phoenixes. I'm just gonna go back and forth here a couple more times. Just gently looking over our shoulder, stretching out the side of the neck here. Stretching out that shoulder. Fabulous. And now we're going to do a roll. Nice, simple roll. It's going to incorporate all of that movement. And again, you don't want to go too far back with the neck if you don't want to. In the other direction. Feel this pulling all through in here. 
and all down my back. Let's do a half moon here in the front. Stroop. <laughs> Stretching out these muscles right here. I can feel them. They're so tight. I used to be able to, without doing this, you know, be able to rest your head on your shoulder. You know, you want to talk about flexibility level. But we're all at different levels and this is just a wonderful way to get a stretch in. Oh. If you sit a lot of the time, which I know many of us do for our work or our home lives, anything like that. So shoulders really quick before we get on to our project. We're just gonna do them in nice circles, a few forward and a few back. fly necessarily. <laughs> I like to keep my hands on my legs so that I don't overextend. Which is very, very easy to do. Oh, go back. Going backward. <laughs> I got to tell you. A couple more forward. Open that chest up, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <laughs> All right, let's grab our supplies and get ready for this is a super fun project. I cannot believe how easy these paper lanterns were to make, so let's grab everything and get going. Here are the materials you will need to create these super cute honeycomb lanterns. This is our tissue paper here in lots of fun colors. We also had this cardstock left over and we are going to use this to make our palm, our lanterns stable. A ruler, a pencil. If you don't have a ruler or anything to measure around, you could always use a spare piece of twine or twill or string or something and do ye old protractor trick. We'll go to use, or you could use a bowl trace around, whichever size you would like. I've also got some glue sticks here, our scissors of course, and for the end you will need a needle and thread to secure everything together. So let's gather it all up and get started. To make the honeycomb shape we are going to need to make ourselves a little template. So just grab a piece of cardboard, a big sheet of butcher paper, just anything, any old scrap you have laying around. As you can see, I've been using this for other products. <laughs> we're just gonna take our ruler here and we're gonna measure out about an inch to an inch and a half spaces. Do solid lines. If you'd like to get a marker for this, that would also work. Now, you want to label them A and B, or make one solid and one dotted, so that when you make your glue lines, you'll be able to distinguish between the two. to decide on the size of your lantern and set it up. As you can see, we've got lots of fun colors to use here. You can alternate, you can do in solid, whatever you would like to do. So let's get cracking. So you have some sheets here. I've separated them out so I can use them for another project to show you another week. It's gonna be absolutely super cute and fab. You're gonna love it. So pick which out which colors you would pick out which colors you would like my goodness can't even talk today pick out which colors you would like to use and you're going to cut them in squares approximately the size that your 
lantern will end up being. Now you're gonna need a lot of this paper to do this. A lot of uh, places online suggest 50 sheets, which, you know, you'll definitely need to stack these on top of one another to get 50 sheets out of a normal pack. So decide on a size, decide on your colors, and let's cut something out. And I'm gonna start using this bowl, and that looks like it's the perfect size to cut half here and half here. We have about 39 sheets here. So let's see if we can make 39 work. 50 seems like a lot. You're gonna get your handy dandy board out. And you're going to take your first sheets of paper. Now, if you would like the colors to alternate, go ahead and change colors uh, every three to four sheets two to four, three to four, somewhere like that. So that way you have a good section of color. And take our first sheet here and lay it down. Let's see if you can see that here. See, I've gotten the sheet between the edges here. So you wanna line it up A to A, B to B, however you wanna line that up. We're probably going to be working somewhere in here, maybe just along the edge, A to A. And here's where the fun happens. You bust your glue out, and you start working along one of the lines. So if you start with B, do all B here, go all the way up, and then in the next sheet, you'll do A. Now we've got everything glued together. There is a honeycomb side, super pretty, and a non-honeycomb side, not as pretty. <laughs> so we are going to cut this out using our circles. You can do this, you can again do protractor, however you would like to do it. cardstock here that matches since I have the option. You do want something a little thicker? actually save these strips for another project if you want. So as you can see, it's gonna open up, it's gonna look really pretty. Just cut it in half. everything together really well. Ta 
Tada! But before that, you're going to want to secure these edges together. And that is how easy it is to make this beautiful spring decoration. I'm going to go make a few more, and then we're going to close it up. It's going to be a great video. I'm going to go make a few more. I'm going to close it up, and we're going to see how they look. OK, we are all finished. <laughs> look how cute that looks. And this is just one example, of course, using all of the crayons in the crayon box. <laughs> but I wanted to show you how simple it can be to make such a cute, easy craft. I also went ahead and made some more. Just want to show you how you can make different shapes. And this one's not cooperating with me as much as I would like, but that happens. But you can also have different effects by whether or not you seal the opening at the bottom. Ooh, fell right out of my hand. <laughs> whether or not you open the seal or close the seal at the bottom, you can have a neat little effect down there. So we have a diamond here, super cute diamond there. And I got a little adventurous and made a sun. How cool is that? And it all comes down to what shape you cut out for everything to be pulled into the round in. So thank you so much for hanging out, Phoenixes. I hope you enjoy this craft. I cannot wait to see all of your awesome photos of you springing it up with all your spring decor and all these wonderful spring crafts that I've been bringing to you. This is just the tip of the iceberg. All of these things you can do for fun and share them with others, make yourself feel good about yourself and boost that quality of life. I know it sounds crazy, Toilet paper and tissue paper, I should say tissue paper, improving the quality of life. Phoenix says, anything is possible in this crazy old universe of ours. Working on yourself, working on art projects, exploring the depths of that creativity that you have, yes, will indeed improve the quality of life. So stay tuned for more fun crafts. I will be bringing them to you as always every week, and I cannot wait to bring more to you. So thank you again for hanging out. This has been Daniela of RedesignYourLifeForever.com and I will see you all next time.